I am not lying or being sarcastic when I say that Misfit of Demon King Academy's comedy sometimes could rival or surpass that of Konosuba. Konosuba is just a comedy show. But like, Misfit sometimes, the stuff they do, I, I think I actually enjoy the slice of life elements in this show. It's just so funny. The Shin always showing up out of nowhere to make Lei like compete so that he can, you know, win the daughter over running gag will never get fucking old. The Zestia is always so goddamn cute. Anno is always saying his dumbass fucking impossible lines. It's great. I'm enjoying it. Now, some of the other stuff that happened last episode besides the fun stuff was Amelia's redemption arc. She's basically getting shit on by demons and humans because she's a hybrid now. And, you know, she comes from like a place of elitism. Now it's a redemption arc where she has to understand and feel the prejudice that she once, you know, displayed a ton to others. So, you know, she's got a lot of years worth of canned food to eat, right? So maybe Anoshu and Amelia are gonna riz each other up, continue to feed each other the canned food. The other stuff that happened, the most important plot is the selection arc. Goddess selection arc. Um, Arcana, who kind of seems like um, uh, Midis, I think, in the beginning. I forget the fucking names. They remember there was the goddess of creation or some shit in the beginning on the chairs and the stair we were talking about and she mentioned that she had a sister, uh, Miditia exactly. I think that um this is Miditia's sister and she basically just imposed a question on us. Like it's like a conundrum. It's like this uh, paradox of like if you are like the chosen one or if you're the almighty and then you know almighty can create a sword that can't be retreat pulled out, right? And that means that the sword can never be pulled out, but you're the almighty, you should be able to pull it out, but why can't you pull it out? But if you did pull it out, and the sword should have never been pulled out, you know, it's like this crazy logical like paradox of like what the fuck what is it and how do we be almighty i think that anos will do the impossible in a very stupid fun way that this show always resolves its problems anos might just fucking draw a circle around the rock and he'll just fucking lift the sword out of the rock so therefore he did pull it out and it's still in at the same time i don't really know but hey let's begin today's reaction <laughs> air domain still so good <laughs> Oh, I gotta prepare you for Dragon Slay. So let's start by playing Blank Tag. <gasps> Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yes, they always have to say some shit. Okay, who's chasing us? Just cardio? What is it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at that, like, CGI, you know, uh, sand clock thing. That's actually pretty cool. Summon dragon? Okay, there it is! <laughs> Where the fuck did that dragon come from? <laughs> Have fun, kids! Institute of the Gods. They're training them to be demon dragon slayers. I guess these kids deserve it. Erdo made go to teacher as usual. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Why not just expose these dumbass kids to the threat of a real dragon for real? Okay. Oh, a singing squad! What? As long as this doesn't run out of sand, you can be revived no matter- I mean, Anos could also too, but okay. Oh! Dissolves source. These kids deserve it, dude. Oh, Shin? Basically just walk then. Ooh. Holy shit, look at that magic trick. He did this shit last season too. He had a bunch of different CGI magic tricks. What's Anna she gonna do? Now we wanna flex though. Her cheering squad. Oh! Know your place. Did that dragon just show up waiting to get petted? Right? Look how it slid down! 10 year old prodigy, by the way. Okay! Is he gonna kill the dragons? Oh, what the fuck? What's up? The underground world overlaps with the dragon nest, dragon domain. Interesting lore mechanics. 
I didn't even know lore-wise that dragons were underground. I thought they were like, you know, flying creatures. That's always like in the mountain peaks and stuff. But I guess some dragons, they do just exist underground. Earth dragons. Underground world. Another difference from 2000 years ago. Just underground world people? Separate race? What is this? So it's just a separate civilization that just lives underground? Emilia! No. Fighting is forbidden in Gaira Hista. Okay, so this is like a safe zone. Just because this is a war free pack zone, do you think that you're gonna be safe and slice his head off? The only place where the judgment selection might be held is. Every sunset. Okay, that might be around here. The gods are very cocky. Learn? Bro's gonna kill them. Midi Arcana again? Ritual to take over the role of the lost god. What happened to the god? It's lost and we're trying to find a suitable candidate. Is the lost god Arcana? Arcana is a god, right? Honestly, I don't fucking know. But that's the only other person I can really think of at the moment if she is a god. Okay. So Sorry, Miritia. I keep getting this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arcana is here. Miritia. Miritia from, you know, the first couple episodes. We're on the stairway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every selected gets a ring. How do you form a pass? You gotta make it love? Who selected us? Arcana did? Miritia did. Arcana did. So someone chose on us before and then became a selection god. Which god is it? It's gotta be Miritia, right? What? So that's kind of interesting, huh? So like during this judgment selections, gods can actually be destroyed. They can just die, which is a mechanic that doesn't seem very intuitive, but it's like that seems to be the only time when a god is actually vulnerable. The jewel. Something bad that could happen. It's a completely new world, people from 2000 years ago. We have no clue. Yeah. Oh, you think we're the prey? Come on, try some shit. Oh, oh, someone's gonna try? No, pussies. So that was a lot of stuff to unpack. But basically, 2,000 years ago, this place didn't exist, but now it does. Made through the tunnels that we just traveled through, but we don't know who did it. Now these people just exist here, and there's some secret that we'll learn later. What else do we know? Selection exam. Lost God. Some God is lost, and we're trying to find a person to replace that person. That's what the purpose that a selection is. And how do people get selected? Well, a selection God should select them. But in Anos's case, a selection God did not become that God until they picked Anos. And that person is kind of missing. We haven't even met yet, but it's most likely Miritia. It just makes sense, right? And also, gods can apparently be destroyed during the selection arc, but it's in a divine order, could be disrupted. But the ring, the pledge, actually keeps it safe. And it's not big of a problem, but still, this place is basically a PvP zone. So we're technically a prey here, is basically all of that. It's gotta be Miritia, right? Because who did Arcana pick? Do we even know who Arcana picked? I don't think we know any of the selected, and as usual, Misfit of King Academy is doing a very good job in hiding all the fucking details and making us just fucking schizo guess everything, but it's just gotta be Miritia, right? Arcana picked Ahide. Who is the Ahide guy? I'm sorry, I don't fucking remember Ahide. 
But Arcana picked Ahide, so only uh, one god can pick only one person. Is is that the limit? So Arcana can't pick two people. Oh, Ahide. Oh, that's that's his war. I thought he was another god. That's just like the oversight, and they're just like giving us a tutorial. Oh, is Ahide a god? What is he? He's just an underworld person. He, 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 he just chilling. He has this all this knowledge and. Okay, thanks. I, I thought he was a guy that just like was hanging out with Arcana and doing this. My bad, my bad. Selected a and Arcana's pick is Ahide. Now, I don't know if they've ever explained the mechanics, right? Of like whether or not you're allowed to pick more than one person. But let's just assume it's just one to one. And we haven't met this god yet. What god do we really know? I mean, we fucking know Heavenly Father knows Gadia from last season, but I doubt it's him. He's fucking gone. So it's gotta be Miritia then. And what happened to the lost god? Is Miritia also the lost god? So Miritia is the person that picked us, but then disappeared, and now we're replacing Miritia, who is our selection? I don't fucking know, man. Goddess of Destruction? Shit, bro, I can't keep track. I need a fucking spreadsheet. Bald! Alright, we got a bunch of pony glyphs. <laughs> By who? Children of dragons. Dragonoids. Yes. <laughs> Everyone here has been trying to decipher this for how many years? Wait, 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 wait. Have these people spent their entire life just like dedicating themselves to decipher these tablets? Hannah <laughs> shows up. Oh shit. Sorry for the spoilers, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all, this place created a long time ago Dragonoids. Yeah, I spoiled you. Sorry about that. Just because I can't read a language, did you think that I couldn't read it? That's right. The sources can be dissolved. That's why, you know, Erdo made said earlier, right? Dragons can. It's, it's like a threat. What? Wait. So, dragon eat source? Then make baby with source. What the? What? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, there's many different important dragons here, huh? Hold up, hold up. He spoiled Royal Dragon, Supreme Dragon. Who created this? That's what we're trying to figure out. Did Miritia create it? Uh, isn't Miritia a goddess of creation? Who created this place? Miritia? I don't know. What? What? Again, Misha is so sussy because Misha looks like Miritia. Misha like looks like a uh, uh, Arcana too. And when Misha created that fake Adele's Gate, the, the, the king, the, the castle, right? Remember, like, in order for Anos to use the fucking, uh, the sword, right? The castle needs to be there. And Misha was able to create one on the spot. And someone was like, yo, this shit's super important. So somehow this all ties into Misha being related to Arcana or Miritia, right? Who born that castle? Did you do it? This is, I, don't, I, don't, I don't answer, this is so deep! Yo, this is the tallest baldy I've seen in anime. Holy fuck, he's a unit. He's almost the size of that tablet. Okay. Selected! Another selection person. <laughs> Bro didn't let him fucking finish his line. Come on, Anos, let him let him at least do his fucking villain monologue. No, no, no. You better do incantations if you're trying to beat me. Is that one done? Out of the eight, we have seven candidates left. The, the, the test didn't even start yet. He's done? He, he's done? Oh! The fuck? Okay, so Baldi died, but he was trying to summon something to fight against Anos. And the ring is still there. Then I guess the summon can go through interesting mechanics. 
I just realized that she's naked and she's just hiding everything with her hair right now. What the fuck? <laughs> she's gotta be wearing something in the, beneath this, right? Like, it's just her hair right here. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did she just summon him? She didn't turn into him, right? No, she summoned him. Hello, Baldi. Nah, don't let him finish. Don't let him finish. Guardian God of Restoration who can revive even the dead. Well, shit. Who the fuck are we reviving if you're not dead? How does that make any sense? Nutra do Hiana. So this is the god that selected Baldi, okay? I can't tell. Is this a guardian god? I'm just going to assume that this is the selection god. It's a separate god that he just summons. And he has a different selection god. And this is just not a selection god? Okay, cool. Yeah, we can do that too. Nah, you should fear him. Damn. It's a god. How can he talk down like that? Did she get pissed off and leave? The fuck we beat her by healing her? Because excess healing is poison. That's some big brain shit. Nope. Who's next? Okay, got a cool sword now. <laughs> Way too much intro. You're flagging so much! Classic! Here it is! Did you really think that if you travel at the speed of light, you could flee? <laughs> we got the speed of Anos, bro. You should feel humble that Anos penetrated you. Yeah, because of the ring, apparently. Did we get to see the selection guide? I fucking step on your web, your divine tool. Oh. Because they don't know. They, they straight up don't know. This is the Demon King's above the ground war. Wait, do the underground people have any idea? And okay, the God of Light was a selection god, but I couldn't tell who it was. Because it was like, you know, this is like possession summoning. Therefore, I didn't see like an actual manifestation of this like light god. But basically, the light god just kind of like possessed him. And then got like the light god's weapon. So I'm like, who the fuck is this selection god? But okay, we basically destroyed him. But these people... They straight up don't know the above world exists. They think the underground is just that. Huh. Take your Pokemon to the fucking Poke Center, bro. Oh. She can take it away? Oh, 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 oh. Weapon. Divine weapon. Give me that ring back. So Arcana can just do that? Different gods can pass a verdict? With the order of these three gods as my offering. So we have Divine God now, I guess? That the ring that he took? Got Arcana. Who's the third god? I'm confused. But basically he's offering the gift. So like, you can just do that? God this is, can just like, the verdict? It's just, you can just fucking do that? He had a piercing god, light god, and restoration god. Oh, the other gods that he was fucking summoning. Oh, I thought that Ahid was like... A, I, I thought that Ahid also already had reserved gods. And I thought that Baldi only had the actual light god as a selection god. While everyone else was like a guardian god. But technically, they are all still gods at the end of the day. He just had three Pokemon. I thought that only one of them was important. But all three of them, he just got stealing there. <laughs> She eats some gods. Together, my ass. Skill issue. <laughs> that was so quick. He was like, you piece of shit, I'm taking your shit. Oh, we can work together. Oh, wait, you don't believe us? You don't believe in the god? Okay, bye-bye. That's so funny. You can just use... Oh, how dare you talk against the gods? Oh, it's that Equis person again. I think that name was mentioned last episode. I think Equis was some, like, super big important person. Like, the final god. The god that has oversight over all this shit. <sighs> Stabbed himself? 
Then our kind of froze? Wait, wait, you're gonna melt him after our kind of showed mercy? Did, did I understand that correctly? Hold up. So, like, he was trying to kill himself there and offer his little soul to, like, Aquis or something. And Arcana's like, no! Frozen! And then Aida's like, ho, 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 I'm gonna melt you, and he's gonna die now. This is crazy! So many things are happening, it's like, alright, I'll save you. And Aida's like, no, 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 I gotta get my sweet revenge. Oh, I'm sorry, Arcana, I had to do it. Don't you think that's a little bit too easy? You really think Ahide is gonna act properly now? He just did that right in front of you. <clears throat> Your radiance. Your eminence. Oh, Anos. Did he really? Fraudster. Bite him. Arcana, you're just being used. Don't you feel bad? Like, what's going on, girl? Arcana is very merciful, huh? Okay. <laughs> power, that's it. So I guess to Arcana, he's so hopeless, and the goal of a god is to, like, take them to salvation. That's the idea? Like, Arcana such a piece of shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The, 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 uh, Hide is such a piece of shit. But Arcana recognizes that and it's like, yes, that's why I selected him so that he can like rehab and be better. And that's the point of a god. Is, is that my understanding? It's like a burden for her, huh? <laughs> should a god save people? I think a god should punish people. I, I want a vengeful god just punishing all these fucking shitters, you know? Sinners. Fucking... Feel my wrath, divine retribution. But right now, Arcana's just like, oh, you kill some people? All right, you can pray it off. I, 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 you'll be better tomorrow, right? Wait, we should go up because we've been down here. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we down here? Because Erdo Mage said, go play tag with dragons. Then Anoshu left and he's like, I'll be right back. So Erdo Mage's still waiting upstairs? And so like, oh, wait, where did my 10 year old prodigy go? What the fuck? What's going on? Did we, what are you, we're holding him. We, he said three minutes for the fucking time clock. We gotta go back to Erdome. So. Very interesting character, Arcana. You talk the same too. You're both cool today, emotionless. She's also waiting for salvation? Are we supposed to save Arcana? Wait a minute. Uh? Oh, we're back. What's up? Wow, well, they all lived great. Oh, this is the guy that tried to, you know, bring us. Yeah. And that's today's episode. God damn, shit was kind of confusing, but thanks to some of the misfit fanatics in my chat, I'm able to kind of understand the plot of what's going on. So what is the most important thing right now? Other than Air Domain, basically just, you know, <laughs> setting the dragons off of the kids. Um, there's an underground world that was developed after the 2000 years time skip. We don't really know who did it, but I think it's safe to say that maybe Mediate did it, and maybe Mediate is also the selection god for Anos. I think that's the most obvious conclusion that we can make, but obvious doesn't mean that it's correct. In fact, obvious choices are often the most wrong choices in Misfit, as they just keep fucking slamming me with the fucking steel chair with these plot twists. What do we learn about this place? So it's like a PvP zone, apparently gods can like be destroyed, but not really because of the rings. Selected, there's a selected god, and there's a basically a selected person, there's eight of them, but we already took down seven people, and Ahide is going around collecting these god Pokemons and giving it to Arcana so she gets stronger, so that he has the power to defeat Ano. So this kind of implies that Ahide will use Arcana to fight on his behalf. Yo, yo, these gods are straight up, yeah, exactly, this is just Pokemon shit. Because Ahide literally said he's just feeding this shit, right? In order to fight Anos, 
So, so Anos is the only person without the fucking Pokemon present because who the fuck knows where the selection god is? She just MIA. There's also the lost god that the whole point of this trial is, right? The whole point of this, this selection thing is to replace the lost god. And who could the lost god be? I'm just gonna guess Meditia because I don't see her anymore. And Meditia is probably the one that developed this place too. And Meditia is also the fucking selection god, which just puts Anos at a handicap because he doesn't really have a Pokemon to fight against. But like, it doesn't matter. This is like a Pokemon battle arc, but Anos has no Pokemon, so he'll beat the shit out of other Pokemon with his bare hands, which I think is a really funny idea. I mean, he already did that, right? Bro summoned like three separate fucking gods, and Anos is like, get the fuck out of my face every time, dude. <laughs> so pretty funny. Some of the other ways of summoning a god, I guess, is like you can literally just summon it like this, and the ring is present. Even if you die, the summoning goes through. Some of the other stuff is like um the possession magic, right? You can like have a god like possess you, so that's kind of cool. And aside from that, there's a lot more mysteries on, you know, about how this world is created, what Arcana's real deal is. But at the end of the day, she's just looking to save people. And she intends to pick Ahide because he is so hopeless. But looking at the ending and looking at her and some of the other stuff that we read about her, sounds like Arcana needs to be saved. And who's going to save a god? Anos. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this, reac this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.